श्रीमारायण वी आर सो हैपी टू बी हियर वी स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके फॉर द सेक ऑफ ऑल वेन एवर वी कम हियर rain also follows us today of course there is no rain but the atmosphere is like that not too hot cloudy atmosphere for us to enjoy the function and uh, till afternoon the second birthday celebrations have been conducted by all of you we wanted to join you all in the afternoon during the final abhishekam of the lord and also during the chakratirtham also but you know the program was something different there was upanayana mahotsavam in the ashram and approximately 200 children are taking the upanayanam today and that made us to come here late by anyway we wanted to join you all today in offering mangala sasanams to our lord trivikrama swami any birthday if we offer mangala sasanam i think that gives a kind of joy isn't it belated wishes and early wishes are also there of course people do offer but then them offering the mangala sasanam on the same day gives a different kind of joy so that's why we didn't want to miss the chance today and we came here but when we see the lord here that trivikrama swami it seems that he is pretty much happy with you all <laughs> you are all happy and he is also so happy with you all that means you are care and you are interest in offering services to him are extremely good and he is a shining gold of course as a vamana he was you know very much in a very shining like gold after that during rama avatar he was a kind of blue and in krishna avatar of course he was pretty much black <laughs> and in kali yuga he just you know appears like a stone so here i think your love devotion dedication and commitment to serve him here is extremely great and that's pretty much visible here and uh, we offer special mangala sasanams to all of you for taking such a great care in offering his services we offer mangala sasanams to the team of the volunteers who are as a committee inspiring the whole community and making them to do different kind of services here to the lord and also we offer that is i seem it's mr desikan am i right srinivas desikan right a wonderful mangala sasanam to you yeah that's great surgeon is of course for the worldly sake 
but being a devotee is for the sake of the soul. And of course, Mr. Reddy, who is also seemingly very committed and doing great service by the support all of you people are extending to him in offering the services to the Lord. I am so happy for that too. May I ask you a one single question? Should I? Did you see God directly? Question is pretty simple. Doctor Gari Yapakurdu. My question is pretty straightforward. I am not beating around the bush. Right? Did you see God directly? Is my question. How many say yes? And how many say no? <laughs> this is where we are losing God. We lose God not because He is not there with us. We miss Him in the form He is visible to us. Whom are you seeing there in the sanctum? Who is that Trivikrama? God or ghost? Sure? Really? Now again the same question to you. Did you see God directly? How many of you? Raise your hands if you did. If. Again doubt. 24%, 26%, 80%. In what form are you seeing God? Acharya is a devotee. Acharya is not God. That's true. God is there in every one of us, in the hearts of us, but we can't see Him there. He is not visible there. Whatever we see inside is only hunger, thirst, desires. Yes? Though God is present there in us, but we won't be able to feel Him at all. People say that God is all pervasive, but the names and the forms we have assigned to those things won't allow us to feel His presence there. What do you call it? What is the name of this? A mic. Though God is present here, but the name and the form that you have assigned to this as a mic, if it catches the voice and magnifies, and then it is called a mic. Finish. So our vision stops here. When we see the external form of the object, and we will be stopped there. We won't be able to penetrate into that, to experience the presence of God. So also us. When we see ourselves, the physical body, the caste, sex, creed, financial status, power, all these things stop us to reach the inner power of God. Though He is very much here with us, He is here. But we are not able to reach Him. It is pretty difficult for us to reach. People say, if you do the yoga, Ashtanga yoga, you will be able to reach. 
but are we able to do the yoga though it is declared as international activity for us you know during the the fourth coming 21st a yoga day isn't it but for that day of course we do something because we have to show it is to show doing yoga is very difficult yoga is not just a practice you understand yoga is linking ourselves to god who is inside but how do we dig is it possible to dig inside we are trying to dig inside but our efforts are so funny funny like somebody said to get water from the ground they suggested go down deep into the earth you know 80 feet how many feet 80 feet and then we started digging and we dug for 10 feet and there is a very hard rock and said no no we are able to do 10 feet here let's go to other place and dig another 10 feet there and we started digging after 5 feet the stone came and we said this is also not good let's go to some other place and there we dug another 10 or 15 feet how many total so far 10 plus 5 plus 15 30 good great and then there also again the rock bed continues right so it continues in a, in a different shape so we thought even this is also no good so we went to the some other place and then we started digging we were able to do 30 feet and how much it is total great <coughs> 60 <feet>. total how much <laughs> needed by us 80 feet and then he went to some other place and dig, dug another 20 feet of ground total do you get water why why you dug already 80 that is the yoga we are practicing <laughs> that is the way our practices are you know we thought i dug it in feet you said 80 feet i dug it i didn't get the water you are wrong your calculations are wrong and you are not a right person hello is it okay do you satisfy that person are baba how you have to dig go down street 80 not 10 here 5 there 6 here 2 there and 1 here is it the way to dig this is the way we are doing our efforts are like that we do some puja here some dhyanam there and some other danam somewhere else and something somewhere else and what a kind of result we are able to get so going deep into the heart where lord is very well present with us do you believe that god is within you yes yes sure how do you how do you know that you are sleeping still your heart is beating are you responsible for its beat that itself is enough for the presence of god to prove the presence of god anything functions in a systematic way like 72 times a minute or something like that sorry doctor something speaking into your area
when something is running in a systematic way, there must be something controlling from behind with knowledge. See, the fan is moving from the roof. It's moving in a systematic way. I mean, there is some control system working behind. And see the lights, the RGB lights, they have a system. That means there is something functioning from behind. So also your heart, it's functioning very well. There must be something, a system that's controlling that heart. For sure, that's not you. Are you? None of us. But it is functioning well. You can easily infer that there is power inside you, which is taking care of you in spite of your sleeping. That system doesn't sleep. It takes care of you. All the 24 by 7 into 365.4. Understand? Ye eshu supteshu jagarti Kamam kamam purusho nirmimana Veda declared the system is called what you call as God and it is the indweller of all of us. Though you sleep, it doesn't sleep, it takes care of you and that is, is the system decides every action of yours and thus you start thinking and if that system stops thinking, you won't be able to think anything at all. Even doctor puts what you call the drip into your system, into your nervous system, still it doesn't go into your body. If the inner system stops functioning, that's called God. In English you call it God, it's okay. But he is Antaryami. You can't see him. To see your inner God, you need some other system. You need some of his presence in a different way. That is the deity. Deity form here in the temple. Did you see God? Again the same question. Did you see God? Where? Where? Right in front of you. Right in front of you. In the form of a deity here. And of course, even in your homes, where you have a sanctum. How many of you have sanctums in your home? Puja mandirs in your home. How many of you? Oh, every one of My goodness. What are you seeing there? Huh? Devoda Deyama. Really? Seeing? Doing something there? Huh? Doing something there? Are you seeing God there every day? Yes, sir, no? Yes. But why didn't you say that? Oh. I asked a very simple and very straightforward question. Did you see God? You did not believe that He is God who is in your sanctum. You did not believe that the one whom you are seeing here, right in front of you, is God Himself. 
You know why? I'll tell you why you did not believe in him. Should I? Because he did not speak. Right? And because he did not eat. And because he did not move. How can we believe Swamiji that he is God? Yes? Do you expect that God should speak with you? Will it be good if He speaks with us? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I will ask your God tomorrow morning to speak with you when you are in Puja Mandir. You understand? When you go to your Puja Mandir in the morning and sit down in front of Him closing the doors, and God suddenly say, Hi! <laughs> How are you? What happens? Either heart will be stopped or you will be jumped out. God is not here in the form of a deity to scare you. He is here to remove our fears not to fear us. Understand? Ayana bhayalu tolagin sadani kunta dandi bhaya petta dani kaadu. Understand? Kaadu ndi at least oka banana tinte bound edu kaadu ndi. You prepare many prasadams in home, right? Huh? A great. <laughs> Every day or once in a week? You? You? You eat every day. How many times? Minimum three times. My goodness. Officially three times. <laughs> Unofficially there are so many Madhya Madhya Baniyans, you know. And you want to eat three times for him? Occasionally we do. <laughs> See how great we are. How concerned we are. Okay. At least when once in a week you offer something like gulab jamuns. You, know. you prepared sweet, nice gulab jamuns. And you offered before him. And you know, while offering the food, you know, you close your eyes and say, Naivedyam samarpayami. Yeah? The moment you close, you open your eyes, and poor fellow thought you really kept something for him <laughs> and ate everything. What happens? What happens? You never enter that room, you never put anything before him. You will be scared. You will be scared. That's why he won't eat anything. He knows very well. You did not keep for him to eat. You kept everything because he should return to you. <laughs> Without touching. That's why we keep it at distance. And we only show the hand. <laughs> not really the food. <laughs> And he also very well knows that he should return everything. <laughs> With all safety, added something more for you. You know why? He never comes to you because he has no food. He never comes to you to satiate his hunger or thirst. He comes to you to satisfy your hunger, to satisfy your thirst. My friends, 
He is not someone expecting something from you. He wants to give you more and more. That's what this Trivikrama proved. During that time, Bali thought that I should possess everything for me alone. And then he was enjoying his own share. And also he gave two slaps to Indra, grabbed his property. Grabbing is there, even in those days. Land grabbers, you know, 420 guys are there even in those days. You know. And then he grabbed Indra's property and then said, you know, I am the boss of everything. God said, my friend Bali, you are very powerful. Why unnecessarily you have grabbed somebody's property, you know? I want to keep you in a place where you need not depend upon anybody else, okay? First of all, give it away to him. Whoever is expecting this, Bali is expecting something, so leave it for, for Indra, others, leave it. Great Bali listened to God and said, Tubhya maham sampratade namama. Hey Lord, I don't want to give to Indra. No, I give you. You do whatever you want to do. <laughs> even their ego, you know, ego is uh, is causing problem. Even there, he said, I don't want to give to Indra. No, but I give it to you. Whatever you want, I give it to you. No problem at all for me. Come on, take all whatever I possessed. He just simply gave away everything that pleased God. You are a nice guy. Now I make you the ruler of another planet. Entirely will be under your control. And the name of the planet is called Rasatala. It's not Bhutala. Let this poor guy take this Bhutala. Go to Rasatala. I'll send you to Rasatala, where everything is enjoyable there. There won't be any kind of bad stuff at all there. I make you the ruler, the monarch of that planet Rasatala. Go there. He made him the ruler. And then Bali said, you know, if this Indra guy comes there, don't worry. I am your caretaker. I stand guard at your place. I protect everything. I be at your beck and call. Don't worry. This is what this Lord proved during that time. If you show a little concern for Him, He takes entire care of you. This is what Bali proved. You people are doing that here. You are showing your concern in offering something nice decorations to him, wonderful festivals to him, and that's all. He makes you the richest. You are already rich. That's how you came to Bhuja. But not in terms of money, not in terms of power, in terms of inner values, which really are counted. External things come and go, but inner values, one we are able to inculcate them, when we are able to instill them in our heart, they will be there forever, pleasing the inner self and making him think of ours, standing God for us as he stood God for Bali, he takes care of us forever. Uh, let me ask the same question again, did you see God? 
where in your home in your puja mandir and here in this beautiful form this is god himself this is not a replica of god remember most of the times we think that these are the replicas of god wrong wrong when god is able to stay in your heart why can't he stay here in this form but here there i there is a lot and lot of pollution in these bodies yes but there is no pollution is pretty much pure because here is ego totally filled up in this body so we say mine i mine this is mine that is mine that is mine and this is mine everything is mine he never says that even the water the pujari keeps in front of him he doesn't say that is mine though it is pretty hot summer and it is you know afternoon at 2 o'clock or something like that but still he didn't touch a drop of water if archaka comes and offers that water to him then he says it's okay and he thinks oh, yeah, everything is for you not for me all this is yours he never claims anything for his sake and he has absolutely no ego at all no selfishness he is always just for others and he thinks that he absolutely for others This is what the great sages said nate rupam na chakarah na yudhani na cha aspadam a lot you have no specific form of yours even you don't want a form for you because you are above all the forms nacha aakarah are you available as a human or as an animal i don't know what you are you don't want to be confined to a specific form na yudhani you have not having any limited weapons or jewelry for you that means you are beyond them tathapi still purushakarah you accept a form whichever we want dr garu wanted trivikrama must be here and dr garu wanted you know um a uh, venu madhava in some other place and wanted kurma avatara in one place and i wanted in you know, a fish form in some other place varaha in some other place nrsimha in some other place no problem you want that form for me right i take it okay granted he has no reservation at all no conditions whatsoever absolutely at your beck and call you give something i accept it you instruct he god be in this form and here for me like this he says yes no problem that's what god is he is for you he accepts everything for you absolutely for you bhaktanam tvam prakashase lord you always appear for our sake whatever we want you accept how much grace is there in you my lord 
he is very graceful you understand that's why he doesn't want to speak because when the speech comes then the problem starts as long as you won't speak no problem but when you start speaking then you speak something and the other guy speaks something else and you speak something else and then the problem starts and when you speak the other guy doesn't speak no issue you speak 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 and get dehydrated and then stop <laughs> finish <laughs> that's why he says okay i don't want to create any kind of mess okay let me not speak he doesn't want to speak he chose a form that will be there with us forever remember if he comes in a moving form if he comes in a speaking form if he comes in an eating form you know what the rule of that we are speaking and moving and eating forms right what is the rule for us a there will be a date of birth and a date of departure we come on a day and we leave in another day for any kind of moving object for any kind of eating object for any kind of speaking stuff there will be a date of arrival a date of departure do you want god to depart from here no you want him to be always with you forever then should be should he be in a moving form then because the moving form always with a date of departure too do you want him to depart so let him not be in a moving form yeah even he has come in the form of rama and there was a date of departure he came in the form of krishna and there is a date of departure too and you want him to depart from you isn't it you want him you want him always to be with you isn't it that's great thing. then let him not appear in a moving form and if he is in a immobile form he doesn't move he'll be here always with us with no ego with no selfish how great it is see so anything that from here you can get in return with all purity with all purity మరి వాడికి మీరు చెప్పాలి కదా మీరు ఎందుకు ఉన్నది మరి మీకు అందరికీ ఎందుకు మేము చెప్పేది వాళ్ళు పాప మీకు చెప్పలేరు మీకు తెలియాలని వాళ్ళు అనుకుంటారు మీకు తెలిస్తే మీరు వాళ్ళకి చెప్తే వాళ్ళు చాలా సంతోషిస్తారు వాళ్ళ బాధ ఏంటి అయ్యో మా పిల్లలకి తెలియట్లేదే మా పోరగాడికి అందరికీ ఏం తెలియకపోయినా isn't it am i right or wrong they want you to know because they already knew that vaaliki papa anni telusunu vaaliki bhakti undi vaaliki shraddha undi vaallu vaalla gurinchi eppudu baadhar karu mee gurinchi vaallu baadhar avtaru meeru chakaga telusukovali meeku anni teliyali meeru mee pillalaki cheppali that's what they expect from you and if you understand and if you tell them they hit the roof with joy understand yes 
ఇయ్య చెయ్యాలి చేయలేకపోవచ్చేంది మీకు దగ్గర దేవుణ్ణి పెట్టుకున్నారా రోజు మీరు పూజలు చేస్తున్నారా ఒక్కొక్కళ్ళు ఒక్కొక్కళ్ళు దేవుడి గురించి ఇంత బాగా చెప్పగలగాలి మీరంతా కూడా ఈచ్ వాన్ ఆఫ్ యూ షుడ్ స్పీక్ అబౌట్ ద ప్రజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ విత్ యూ దాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వి ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ బికాస్ నవేస్ దేర్ ఆర్ పీపుల్ హూ సే యువర్ గాడ్ వోంట్ స్పీక్ అవర్ గాడ్ విల్ షెడ్ ద బ్లెట్ and save the souls and you think oh they are so great <laughs> you need to reply to such people meer cheppalekapaina mee pillalaki ee prashnalu vastayi bayitiki vedithe endukante meer vaanni pette school santha gopal kanaka వాళ్ళు ఇచ్చే చదువు అంత గొప్పది కనుక దురదృష్టం కొద్దీ మనం చదివిన చదువులు అంతే గొప్పవి కనుక అవర్ ఓరియంటేషన్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ద సేమ్ అండ్ అవర్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఆల్సో ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ద సేమ్ ఓరియంటేషన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యువర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ టు రిప్లై టు యువర్ చిల్డ్రన్ వై యూ నీడ్ గాడ్ ఇన్ ఎ డిటి ఫామ్ many of children ask you mom why god in that form why god in this form why many gods adu tar adagara memalni mari em cheptaru vaalaki meer amma ake em telusundra radha prasanalanni urkara this should not be the answer you should be able to when you are in the presence of this lord you need to know something about god to reply any person who ever questions the existence of god understand and there are people ya andi tinane devulike na ivejjalu endukandi adutara adagara ఏమని కరెక్ట్ మరి ఆయనకని మీరు చెప్పాలి కదా ఎప్పుడైనా సమాధానం చెప్పారా మరి తినని దేవుళ్ళకి అయినా ఈ వైద్యాలు ఎందుకు యూ షుడ్ ఆన్సర్ సచ్ ఏ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వెన్ ఎవర్ దే ఆర్ థ్రోన్ టు యూ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సే God doesn't need food from you. God wants you to eat more, grow more, become strong. That's why we need to offer him food. Not for him to eat. What does he eat? Not the fruit. but the love you kept in the fruit understand mee intiki eppudaina guest lu vastara entha mandi illaga vastaru guest lu ha me bhujala ranistaru asal lokalaki ఇందాక మాకు ఆ గేట్ దగ్గర వాడు ఆపేసేయండి ఆపేస్తే రామేశ్వరరావు గారు కారు వచ్చింది అని టక్క మన నాకు అది దూరం అంతే మేము కూడా సో సీన్స్ దట్ యు ఆల్సో ఎలో గెస్ట్ టు యూర్ హోమ్ ఎస్ ఓకే వెన్ ఐ గెస్ట్ కమ్స్ టు యూర్ హోమ్ హౌ డు యూ offer some kind of thing to him what do you offer first water 
next some coffee stuff right okay why do you offer coffee probably nobody in his home giving all coffee to him huh? he is very much fond of coffee probably his wife never gives him coffee it seems so he comes to you and to drink a cup of coffee right no abba remember the guest accepts your coffee be not because he has no coffee outside whatever your concern is offered in the form of either water or coffee or tiffin whatever it is it is your concern that he needs it is your affection that he accepts okay yes or no yes. that's good and when you offer something say coffee where do you offer coffee how do you offer coffee ఏమిటండి అలా చూస్తారు మీరు కాఫీ ఎలా ఇస్తారండి వాళ్ళకి కప్పులు వస్తారు అమ్మయ్యా బ్రతికించారు నోట్లో పోస్తా అనలేదండి యు యు ఆఫర్ ఇన్ ఎ కప్ వాట్ ఎ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కప్ యూ చూస్ అందరికీ ది బెస్ట్ ఇస్తారు మీరు ఇట్ డిపెండ్స్ అపాన్ ద స్టేటస్ ఆఫ్ ద పర్సన్ హూ కమ్స్ సపోజ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ యు నో ద నార్మల్ గెస్ట్ కమ్స్ టు యువర్ హోమ్ యు ఆఫర్ ఇన్ ఎ పేపర్ కప్ దట్స్ ఆల్ suppose a minister comes a silver cup suppose the president of india comes either gold or golden let us say right okay because you are able to offer a gold cup of coffee and then you offered a cup of coffee in a gold cup what the guest should do and the guest thought my god this is very beautiful cup and then if he starts keeping the cup in his pocket because it's gold it's not ordinary stuff isn't it what do you do hey <laughs> keep it there. do you allow him to take it ha no. huh? no no what should he do mariyada ga coffee daagi cup aad betwa ya antara andra whether you offer in a paper cup or a silver cup or a gold cup that's pretty much immaterial what matters is the inner stuff in the cup and the guest takes only the inner stuff so also god when you have a kind of concern for him and you need to offer your love and a devotion in the form of a fruit or a coconut or something some prasadam or in the form of flowers or in the form of dresses or in the form of ornaments jewelry whatever it is depends upon how much love you have towards him 
even you offer some very very delicious gulab jamun but it becomes a cup to offer your concern but while you are offering you offer i prepared this i prepared this i that ego will be there in that while you are offering the moment you keep it in front of him he eliminates that and fills that with his divine grace and returns that to you me chuttal asthe vaalike engil kappulu vaapu vastaru meer kadukovali antena meer kadukovali but god doesn't give whatever you offer whether it is a fruit or something else he returns with his divine grace eliminating the bad stuff the ego from that so the name is changed no further what do you call it prasadam do you know the meaning of prasadam prasadam is peace what is the meaning of prasadam peace in the heart where there is a lot of dirt and dust that should become peaceful and his grace makes it but to take the grace you need a cup that is the fruit you are offering and you offer your ego and he gives it back with his grace and the grace remains in you but the fruit has its own normal course it goes out in the natural process you understand for him to give his grace he chooses that fruit or flower or whatever you offer through that he gives he gives his grace the grace will be filled up in your heart it does miracles it does miracles if you purchase a fruit for you you only eat it you don't feel like sharing it with others do you but when it comes from the deities from the lord you don't feel like eating it all alone you feel like sharing it with others that is the power of grace whatever you thought mine his grace changed that share it with others and then enjoy enjoy with all together don't be one and compass everything in that one expand yourself that is what god does in the form of a deity so remember my friends once again i am asking the same question did you see god where right in front of you here otherwise in your puja mandir understand when he is in puja mandir why you need to come to temple because in home he is for us but for the sake of community he is here in our home he is like a lamp in the room and here he is a lamp for the community at large we need both because we want to be always with a community in community we want always to be together 
for which we need him here. And of course, in home, we want to conduct ourselves in a better way. We need a deity in our home too. But don't take care of him once in a week. <laughs> you want to be a real human every day, every moment, every minute. Take care of him every minute, every moment, every day and always. But remember, his arrival is for us. Whenever he arrived for us, that becomes his birthday. That is what we call for God Brahmotsava. And second Brahmotsava you are celebrating here. You are conducting here. Two years of his company is so great for you. Understand? It is so great. And you are really blessed. Because he is here with us, not leaving us and always showering his grace on us in this community. For us to grow together, for us to live with richness. And uh, as he measured the all universes, thus he wants us to grow such a big, magnanimous. That's why he became Trivikrama here in Bhuja. And you are so blessed to be here in His Divine Presence and celebrate this function. Though we wanted to be here, of course in the afternoon we could not. And because in the afternoon if we come, probably you won't be here. It will be too hot or maybe you are so hungry. And because when we came here, and we saw the whole hall was filled up, totally packed. They are, you know, very busy there, satisfying the indweller. But you are really, really great, satisfying your eyes, enjoying His Divine Beauty here. And so we came here. And of course, this is not the right time to give any discourses. So we did not give any discourse to you. Understand? Just we wanted to speak with you and share our ideas. And I am so happy that you are so patient and listening to us and participating in the discussion. God bless you all and let this Lord Celebrate many more Brahmotsavas along with all of us. Let him grow and let us also grow along with him. Mm. Ikkada Swami ye leg getthu nadu? Left leg getthu nadu. Yendu ko left leg getthu nadu ikkada? Iden dance posture ha? Ha? Kada? Mar indi getthu nadu? Moor adu gulu kola vada anik. Sadharananga koli chavada madata ye adu gutho kolu shtharu? Kudi kalto kolustar. Kudi kalto bhoomini koli chedu. Eka payana rendavadi akasen kolavali. Pailo kalu kolavali. Dento kolustaru. Marika adam kalto kolustaru. Anchet it is right posture. Kirinda kudi kalto mother to kolustaru. Tata yadama kalto paina kolustaru. Atharwata bali tala kolustaru. 
అంతేది ఇక్కడ ఎడమకాలతో కొలవడం అనేటటువంటిది దిస్ ఈస్ ద పర్ఫెక్ట్ నిజంగా ఎప్పుడు ఆయన మొదట కొలిచినప్పుడు దేంతో కొలిచాడో దాంతోనే కొలిచాడు ఇక్కడ అలాగే ఉన్నాడు ఇక్కడ పైన కొలిచినప్పుడు బ్రహ్మగారు ఆ పాదాన్ని కడిగారు కడిగిన పాదము నుంచి జారిన జలం అది భూమికి దిగి వచ్చింది కనుక దానికి పేరు గమ్ గా గమ్ అంటే భూమి గా అంటే వచ్చింది అని అర్థం భూమికి దిగి వచ్చను దివి నుండి భూమికి దిగి వచ్చను అందుకు దాని పేరు గంగా అయింది ఆయన ఆ పాదంలో బ్రహ్మ కడిగిన తీర్థంతో పాటు ఒక క్షణంలో ఆ జలం క్రిందకి దిగొచ్చింది అది గంగా ఎడమకాలు కోలిచాడు ఇక్కడ మీరు రామానుజుల వారి యొక్క స్టాచ్యూ ఆఫ్ ఈక్వాలిటీకి వచ్చారా ఎంతమంది అందరూ వచ్చారా ఓకే ఓకే అక్కడ ఆ చుట్టూ ఉండి దివ్య దేశాలు చూసారా చూశారు అందులో కూడా త్రివిక్రముడు ఉన్నాడు చూసారా మరి ఎన్ని చోట్ల మళ్ళీ ఇంకోసారి రండి జాగ్రత్తగా చూడండి అక్కడ ఏ పాదం ఎత్తి ఉన్నాడో గమనించండి ఎందుకు అలా ఎత్తి ఉన్నాడో అక్కడ పుస్తకం కూడా ఉంటుంది దాంట్లో తెలుగులో ఇంగ్లీష్లో తమిళంలో గుజరాతీలో హిందీలో కన్నడంలో అన్ని రకాల భాషల్లో అక్కడ పుస్తకాలు దొరుకుతాయి చదివి చూడండి మీకు కన్ఫ్యూజన్ లేకుండా ఇప్పుడు మేము చెప్పేస్తాం ఎందుకంటే పాప ఆవిడ అడిగారు కూడా జ్ఞాపకం పెట్టుకుని కిందటిసారి చెప్పిన క్వశ్చన్ ఒకసారి ఆయన కొలిచి లోకాలని తరింపచేసిన తరువాత ఒక మహాముని తపస్సు చేసి స్వామి నువ్వు ఆ వేళ కొలిచావట లోకాలని కానీ ఆ వేళ నువ్వు కొలిచినప్పుడు నీ పాదాలు కడగాలని పాపం బ్రహ్మగారు ఎప్పటి నుంచో ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేస్తున్నాడు ఆయన కానీ నువ్వు చాపిన ఎడమకాలు ఒక్కటే చాపేవా బ్రహ్మగారు ఎడమకాలు ఒక్కటే కడిగాడా ఆయన పాప కుడికాలు కడిగే ఛాన్స్ లేకపా అంచేసి నీ కుడికాలు కడిగే ఛాన్స్ బ్రహ్మగారికి వచ్చేట్టుగా నాకొక్కసారి చూపించవా అని అడిగితే ఆనాటి బ్రహ్మగారి కోరికని ఆ ఋషిగారి కోరికని రెంటినీ కూడా సాటిస్ఫై చేయడం కోసం కుడి పాదాన్ని చాపి బ్రహ్మ యొక్క ఆరాధనని పూర్ణము చేశాను ఋషి యొక్క ప్రార్థనని పూర్ణము చేశాను అది ఎక్కడెక్కడ వచ్చే పుస్తకం తీసుకుని చదివి చెప్పాలి మీరు సినిమాలకి ముందర ట్రయల్ పార్ట్ ఇస్తారు తెలిసిన టీజర్స్ యా ముంచే మిగతా మీరు వెండి తెరపై చూడుడు ఏ ఏ క్షేత్రంలో కుడి పాదం ఎత్తాను అలా ఎత్తటానికి ఏ ఏ ఋషి కోరాను దట్ ఆల్సో వీ నీ టు నో ఎస్ భగవంతుడు మన కోసం ఎన్ని రకా ఏమండి మీకు పిల్లలు ఉన్నారా ఏమండి ఉన్నారా మీ పిల్లలు అడిగినప్పుడు అడిగినట్టుగా మీరు అప్పుడప్పుడు చేస్తుంటారా చేయరా చేస్తారా ఎందుకు చేస్తారా లాగా మీరు చెప్పినట్టు వాళ్ళు చేయాలి కానీ వాళ్ళు చెప్పినట్టు మీరు చేయడం ఏంటండి ప్రేమ వాళ్ళు ముందు ముందు చూసుకోవాలని కాదు వాళ్ళు మిమ్మల్ని చూస్తారా ఏంది ఏమో కాని ప్రేమ తల్లి ప్రేమ పిల్లలు ఏది కోరితే దాన్ని చేసేట్టు చేస్తుంది ఒక తల్లికి అంత ప్రేమ ఉంటే 
ఇన్ని లోకాలని కన్న తల్లి ఆయన తండ్రి ఆయన ఆయనకి ఎంత ప్రేమ ఉంటుందండి మన మీద మనము కోరినది ఏదైనా అది చాలా డిఫికల్ట్ అయినప్పటికీ ఆయన మన కోసం చేస్తాడు అని మనకి చూపించడానికి రెండవ పాదాన్ని కూడా ఆయన లోకాల్ని కొలుస్తూ చూపించి ఆ ఋషుల యొక్క ప్రార్థనని మన్నిస్తాడన్నమాట మనని కూడా అట్లానే మన్నిస్తాడు దిస్ ఈజ్ ఒరిజినల్ మొదట మామూలుగా కొలిచింది అయితే ఎడమ పాదంతో పై లోకాలు కొలుస్తాడు అంటే మనకి ఎప్పుడైనా కుడి పాదంతో భూమిని అడుగు ముందుకు వేయడం అలవాటు కదా నీ కుడి పాదం ముందు మోపిరారా అనేది పాట ఏదో ఉంది అలాగా కుడి పాదమే మట్టమట అడుగు వేసేటప్పుడు రెండవ పాదం ఆయన పైలోకాలు కొలవటానికి ఉపయోగిస్తాడు ఆయన సో దట్స్ వాట్ హిట్ ఈ దాన్ బట్ తర్వాత తర్వాత కాలంలో ఎంతోమంది మహానుభావులు తెలిసి ఆయన్ని ప్రార్థన చేసి తండ్రి మా కోసం ఒక్కసారి అప్పుడెప్పుడో వాళ్ళతో ఏదో చేసేవాడు కొంచెం నాకు చూపించవా అని ఓకే ఆయన మళ్ళీ చూపించే ప్రయత్నం చేస్తాడు అలా చేసిన రూపాలు ఎక్కడెక్కడో మన నూట ఎనిమిది దివ్య దేశాల్లో ఉంటాయి మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి చూద్దురు కానీ ఎక్కడెక్కడో తెలుసుకుందురు కానీ ఎవరెవరి కోసం అట్లా చూపించాడో కూడా మీరు తెలుసుకుందురు కానీ మీ దగ్గర త్రివిక్రముడు ఉన్నందుకు యు నీడ్ టు నో ఆల్ అబౌట్ త్రివిక్రమ ఎస్ ఎస్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఎనిబడి క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎనీథింగ్ అబౌట్ త్రివిక్రమ యు షుడ్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు ఆన్సర్ దాన్ విత్ ఆల్ పర్ఫెక్ట్నెస్ యా చేత అక్కడ పుస్తకాలు కూడా ఉంటాయి దాన్ని కూడా మీరు తీసుకోవచ్చు అండ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు గూగుల్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దేర్ చాలా ఆలస్యం చేశాం మీకు ఆల్రెడీ ఈ పోతగ పదకొండు అవుతుంది మీ అందరికీ ఇంత ఓపిక్గా చక్కగా కూర్చున్నందుకు స్వామి మీద మీకు ఉండేటటువంటి శ్రద్ధని ఈ రకంగా మీరు చూపిస్తున్నందుకు మీకు అందరికీ కూడా అనేక అనేక మంగళ శాస్త్రాలు చేస్తున్నాం ఆయన అనుగ్రహం మిమ్మల్ని మరింత మరింత మంచి భక్తులుగా మంచి సేవలు చేయగలిగే వ్యక్తులుగా తీర్చిదిద్దాలి అని ఆశిస్తూ జై శ్రీమన్నారాయణ